It is dinner time, and I probably should have started dinner a little bit earlier, but this should come together fairly quickly because I'm using a couple little tricks to uh, just give myself a nice hearty soup tonight without spending a whole lot of time doing that. So my first little trick is to use a soup mix from Bob's Red Mill, and this is something I like to keep on hand in the fall and winter time. It's just, it's just a simple, easy, kind of thing that I can keep in my dry pantry and throw in a pot and cook. Now if there's one downside to this is that it takes quite a while to cook because it's a mixture of dried lentils and split peas and there's a little bit of pasta, dried pasta in there as well. I find if I soak this overnight in some water it will cook in less than half the time. So I did about half the bag because I wanted to have quite a bit not only for dinner tonight, but for some meals tomorrow. So I've got that. And then, because that can be kind of stodgy, I think, um, I stopped at Trader Joe's, and this time of year they have this little mix of vegetables, and it just makes it kind of easy uh, to add this to some soup. So I think instead of just adding this to some soup, I'm, I'm actually going to brown it off first and then just set it aside. So this is a cool little product that Trader Joe's has in the winter time. It's just a mixture of butternut squash, sweet potato, red onion, celery, parsley, sage, and rosemary. So not only do you get vegetables, but you get a little herbs in there as well, and it really is quite tasty. And you don't really need to do anything to this if you don't want. But like I said, I, I find it is better just to cook it off a little bit on its own. And then uh, that'll just impart a little bit of extra flavor to it. So even though I am in a hurry, this is a quick little step that will just make the soup taste better, immensely better, uh, once we put it all together. All right, I'm going to cook everything off in the same pot here. But I'm going to just start off with... The vegetable mix, I need the olive oil a little bit here. Just a little bit of olive oil, because I'm hoping to get a little bit of brown on these vegetables. And let's put a healthy little amount in here. I've got quite a bit of that dried soup mix, so I just want to balance out the, uh, the kind of the kind of stodgy flavor of the dry soup mix with the fresh vegetables or the fresher vegetables here. Um, I really like having this this time of year. Uh, I don't buy this very often, but um, even when it is available, but it is kind of nice just to have this available because I can use part of it for one meal, use another part of it for another meal, and I don't have to buy a bunch of vegetables and break them all down and chop them all up. Okay, I'm going to just give it a little bit of salt. I like the salt on each step. All right. So we've got just a little bit of color and flavor on there. Let me turn that off so I don't light myself up. And I think that's good enough for me for now. We'll just... Put this aside, and this is not a necessary step. Obviously, you don't—you uh, really don't need to pre-cook this like this. But I just kind of like it because anytime you can add just a little bit of extra flavor, I think it's really important. Okay, now we'll go in with our dried soup mix. And get all that in there. And this is going to need quite a bit more water than what I've got, so hopefully that'll be enough, but I can always add a little bit more as we go. And let me get the fire started here again. 
Now obviously this is all we really need with this. We just let this go and cook away. But uh, just to give this a little bit of extra flavor, I'm just going to add some vegetable broth powder in here. You don't need a whole lot, but um, just a little bit because again, anytime we can add some extra flavor in, that is a good thing. Flavor at every step means it's going to taste amazing once we get done. So I'll just leave this to go. It's probably going to be about half hour, 40 minutes because I've soaked the soup mix before and these vegetables obviously are fine. They can just sit out for that period of time. So we'll get our lid on this, let that come to a boil and then turn it down and let it simmer again. Probably going to be about 40 minutes or so. So I should mention, if you're looking for this soup mix from Bob's Red Mill, this is kind of a health food store type product. Uh, Bob's Red Mill is normally carried at like natural food stores or health food stores, although I think I bought this one at a Fred Meyer, which is a Kroger chain of grocery stores. So Ralph's Kroger, Fred Meyer uh, do sell them. So they are kind of widely available, but I'm not sure if it's kind of a Wally World type item. Um, I just don't shop there, so I don't know. Uh, and they do sell this in a couple of versions. So I had kind of the basic one, and then they do have kind of a bean type one. So this one has beans in it instead of pasta. This is not gluten-free, just like the other one, because it does have some wheat berries and some kamut uh, in it as well. So, um, so yeah, you may, if you're, if you're trying to avoid gluten type products, these won't really do it for you, but I don't have a problem with those. So, um, so I like these, although this one, I think I'd like this one a little bit less than this one. This one's kind of more universal to me, uh, without the beans in it, I can kind of just add what I want. Uh, but they're both a really nice little pantry kind of staple to keep around, uh, especially in the fall and winter when you want something really hearty and filling and warming. I think they're just great products. All right, I believe our soup is finished. It's been about 45 minutes. So I did kind of taste it in between. Um, I needed to add a little bit more water. These, uh, anything that's kind of split pea based seems like it takes a lot of water. So I did have to add a little bit more water. And when I did that, I checked it for some salt for seasoning and I did add some salt to it. So we're right on seasoning wise and then I'm just going to put the the uh, vegetable the fresh vegetable in now okay I think I'm just going to use this bowl here that I had the fresh vegetable in as my eating bowl so I don't have to wash anything else a good little hefty portion of it here. Yeah, I really like this. I like the fact that um, since I did the fresh vegetable separately and held it off until the end, I've got some texture, a little bit of texture with the onions and all. So the onions are so crunchy and the sweet potato and butternut squash isn't just all broken down like the rest of the soup is. So I kind of like that. So that little box of Trader Joe's vegetable that I bought was about five bucks and I'm getting a few meals out of it. So cooking like this is uh, is OK once in a while. I would prefer, though, to do everything myself and just spend a little bit of time chopping. But today, especially because I was extra hungry and I didn't start dinner until late, I think this was a good idea. So I'm going to get to dinner and hopefully you have a good dinner tonight too. And uh, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.